as you probably all know by now, uh, I use lucid dreaming a lot with mental health related issues, uh, particularly the topic of voice hearing. If you haven't watched any of my videos before or, or just are unaware, um, one of the things that I have used lucid dreaming for is making sense of my voice hearing experiences. Now I've heard voices for a large portion of my life and in the past I have been with mental health teams that deal with psychosis so typically my experiences fall under that umbrella I suppose and even though I've spoken about how I've had great results with that and I've learned a lot from that there's one thing that I haven't really touched up upon and I've kind of been thinking about it for the last few hours and I realized that it's probably a little bit irresponsible of me. I have said before that for some people doing this might not be uh, the right option for them, uh, but I suppose I haven't really elaborated too much on that and I think it's something that I need to say. So obviously if somebody is in a very deep psychotic episode and they're struggling to to deal with reality and you know struggling to tell the difference between reality and fiction then lucid dreaming might actually cause more damage than good in those kind of situations i definitely think the best thing to do is obviously speak to a professional a doctor a psychiatrist a therapist uh, you know whatever it is that that person feels comfortable doing um, and you know whether you require therapy or medication or just a supportive environment getting that help first and getting to a more stable place mentally obviously comes first and you know I, I didn't want to um, I didn't want to put this idea across that hey you know if you're if you're suffering from hallucinations and stuff then we can figure it out through lucid dreaming like obviously you know I, I wouldn't want to push that idea on somebody who was really really suffering and potentially make them worse now for me when I started doing the work around the voices I was in a more stable place yes I still heard voices I still hear voices now that has just become a natural part of my life um, and when I was when I was doing that work you know I I was in a supportive environment I was stable I wasn't going to fall too deep down the rabbit hole and not be able to come back um, I mean there have been times in the past when I've felt myself get quite caught up in my own head and, and found myself getting a little bit confused between you know my version of reality and what's really going on around me um, I think it was like February two years ago I pretty much locked myself away in my room for a good month I mean to be honest I pretty much do that anyway but you know, I spent even more time on my own and I was very much in my own head and I pretty much just spent the whole month like in bed trying to lucid dream you know trying to live out my version of reality I guess and you know, it wasn't healthy um, but you know I've, I've always been quite fortunate to you know have people around me and you know have a reasonably stable environment so I haven't got too unwell I suppose so I, I felt like I needed to kind of say that because obviously even though this is something I advocate for and I believe that you know exploring mental health problems, you know, particularly kind of voice hearing through lucid dreaming, you know, even though I, I really do think that it's a great option, it's it's something that has that can benefit a lot of people, uh, I also take into consideration that some people are just too unwell to deal with that and, you know, I didn't want to uh, push, you know, that idea that everything can be solved through lucid dreaming. So, I mean, that's kind of an instance where I think lucid dreaming um, could potentially be damaging for some people. But obviously, you know, it's up to the individual and, and you know, only they 
and I guess the people around them really know, you know, if they are stable or well enough to handle something like that. So basically, you know, that's just kind of what I wanted to say. And not necessarily just around voice hearing as well, I guess, you know, anybody who may be trying to work through trauma, uh, you know, mental health issues that have been caused through, you know, certain traumatic events, uh, you know, exploring that when you aren't in the right place mentally, again, could have very negative repercussions. So, um, yeah, as I said already, that was kind of just something that I wanted to put across to people. Um, so yes, uh, thank you very much for watching guys. Um, as ever, you know, if you want to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and you know various other places, those links will be in the description. But thank you very much for watching guys. I have been Max aka the Rara Rabbit. I'll see you in the next video.